Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, my name is Marissa Spithia, and today is one of those rough days early in the morning, and I decided to film. So, um, today in the mail, the mailman gave me my birch box, and I was thinking that we could do a little bit of an unboxing today. Also, this video is not sponsored, but I love Birchbox, and I've been a member with them for, like, I think, like, four years? Not, mm, four? Four, th four, three years. Four, three years. But I was thinking, we can do an unboxing haul. And also, um, the blanket in the back, don't even worry about it. It's just my blanket and I was sleeping and I haven't made my bed and I, I'm just out of it on this, oh, this day. Just, no, it's not. And then my hair is looking rough. Look at that, like, girl. Yeah, she needs a wash. She needs a pick-me-up. So that's what I'm going to do after this unboxing. Also, I'm also going to, like, I'll probably... Um, after this, I'm just gonna, um, cause I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be really, really short. And I was thinking, how about a video of me just organizing my closet, considering it's warm here in NC, and I just wanna organize my closets from, like, bringing out the winter clothes and putting in the summer and spring clothes, so. Uh, let's just get right into this unboxing of my birch box. So, um, I don't mind my bed sheets. These are like old blanket that I got from Walmart. Oh my gosh. Oh lord. Yeah, this goes my raggedy nails. But let's begin this unboxing. Alright. This is kind of hard to unbox with one hand. Um, okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We cannot do this. We can do this. Come on, you stupid box. Like, I'm trying to rip you open, and I'm over here opening you like a freaking savage. Oh, no, here's a tap. Oh my god, they really need to make this, like more responsibly so I don't have to be tearing it open so if you don't know what Birchbox is it's a monthly subscription service and you get like around um now the kind of updated Birchbox so now new Birchbox users have to pay $15 for the box but they do give you more than five um sample products this time which i guess is a, is a better deal i don't know um since um older users like me this will probably this this month and next month's box will be my last box because i don't feel like i want to pay 13 dollars for the product it's not me i mean if you want to get this get this because it is really great especially if you want to try out new things and don't want to buy full-size products Alright, so here's the things of what they said I get. Um, I get something called a Basada Body Wash, Davines, Love Curl Shampoo, Marcel, City, Quay, Sunday Riley, One Wonder Beauty, Davines, Divines, Divines? I get a conditioner and a curl mask. Oh, well, let's see what happens then. Alright, not gonna lie to you, but I collect this paper. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I was like, oh, well, I could use this for, like, gifts. I just, oh, look, they gave me a $15 off my next order, but I never order anything from them. <laughs> okay, so let me see. What's this? The Curl Jelly. Ooh, probably after I wash my hair, I use this. Yeah. Okay, let's see the ingredients, though. Can we focus? Lightweight jelly hydrates and defines naturally coily hair without weighing it 
down for bouncy frizz free curls oh we love things like this and my hair especially if if it's meant for curly hair usually products like it, some there are some curly hair products that get on my nerves that say oh it's for curly hair but then on the bottle it says all hair types and i'm like so then it's not for curly hair <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. I keep dropping things because I am clumsy. Uh, 24 anti-blush day and night moisturizing. This is actually pretty good because, I mean, it's hypoallergenic, fragrance free, paraben free, non-comedogenic. I am sorry, you guys. Like, I am not good with pronouncing things. Um, but also with this, <laughs> I do have very, very dry skin. And like, when I tell you drab, like, I'd be looking crusty in the morning. Okay, what's, what's this? The curl shampoo? Lovely curl enhancing, teeny shampoo for wavy or curly hair. Shampoo, eclixante disciplitante with almond extract. Okay, the rest of this is like, in like some French or I don't know. I speak Spanish. I don't speak that language. And then the ingredients. I'm trying to find them in English. Uh, I don't see the ingredients in English. Oh, maybe it's right here. Oh, there you go. Oh. This is not a sulfate-free shampoo. How is this meant for curly hair? Lord. Y'all, Davines, I will try you out. But girl, if you dry out my hair and everything, this is like, this is a useless sample for me. Like, how is it curl shampoo and you putting sulfates in here? Like, no, that's like damaging my hair and frizzing it up. Alright, next product. Oh, this is the body wash. Um, oh, it's creme brulee scented. Um, hold on. Nope, I cannot smell it. It has one of those plasticky things on here. Let's see. Lord, this is so hard to do with one freaking hand. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to pull it off my teeth. Okay, I accidentally got a, a little bit in my mouth. That's gross. Okay, let's see. Let's smell it. It has like a lemony scent with like sweetness in it. It smells like cake. Not like a like a sweet birthday cake, but it smells like like faint vanilla, faint lemon scent. It's like, I don't know, it smells like a pound cake, lemon pound cake. It smells really good, so I'll give that a try. Okay, okay, girl, girl, girl. Let's see the ingredients. Get naked, get wet, <laughs> lather and rub, rinse. Oh my gosh. Mmm. The ingredients seem legit. There's, um, there's no sulfates in here, which is weird. But I, I mean, it's indulgent. You gotta give credit what credit's due. Oh, this must be the, um, no, the conditioner. Um, the ingredients, let's see, ingredients. Um, is there, oh, yep, there's methyl sulfates, there's sulfates in this freaking conditioner, which divines, divines, or whatever you're called, you need to get your stuff together. This is not healthy for curly hair. I'll try it out, but I'm saying, like, I will not be using it if you ruin my curls. Alright, and then the curl mask. Let's see the ingredients. 
Uh, okay. Nope. Sulfate in this one too. Like how? How do you put a sulfate in a hair mask? That is crazy to me. Y'all need to fix this. Like we can't be having sulfates or parabens or any of this of these bad ingredients. Like what the freak? Like I said, I will be trying this out. I will let you guys know how all these divine divines divine products turn out to be. <sighs> And if they worked for me, if not, like, oh, you just trash. <laughs> Alright, I got this Luna. This is one of, like, because, like, during Birchbox, you can pick out a sample if you want. Or you can get surprise. Or you can pick out a box that already has everything that you can see. And I picked this as one of my samples. And it's this night oil because, like I said, I have really bad dry skin. So... It says, all reduces the appearance of pores, wrinkles, while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness. And I am very pale and, like, very light. <laughs> and I heard it's also good for moisturizing. Apply at night to clean dry face. Luna goes from blue to clear when massage into the skin. Not used during... Okay, next day, skin tone, dryness, surface redness, and instantly visible improve see it's for dryness like i need this all right last but not least the lip retreat oil what does it say on the back made in korea spa day so let's see what it says on the paper about the lip retreat oil because not really saying much on here um okay Packed with a blend of oils that firm and moisturize your lips, this berry shade glides on to give you all-day hydration, bold color payoff, and subtle, sh su subtle, subtle shine. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. I want to see this berry color. Okay. Mmm. Um, why is there nothing coming out? Um, did they not give me any? Is this like a empty tube? Lord, what the freak is going on? There's nothing in here. Oh, never mind. There was something in there. And I just basic, but there's barely any product in it. Like, what kind of sample is that birch box? Like, and then when I'm squeezing it out, it just squeeze. I mean, the color's pretty though. I mean, it's subtle. It has that shiny berry finish, but like that is a waste of product, and I'm disappointed in that. <laughs> but if you. But, um, you'll probably see me in a hot minute when I get back. I'll be showered and everything, and I'll show you how chaotic my closet is before we clean it. Alright. Hey guys, it's a little bit after. Took a shower, did my hair, put on some lazy clothes. My hair's soaking wet. Okay, so let's organize my chaotic ass closet. Let's just get, let's just get into it. Lord. So this is basically what we're working with. Um, please don't judge my closet. <laughs> it is a mess. But it is my mess. That's basically what it is. This is my mess. Um it's disorganized and everything as you can see, like all my winter stuff is like right there. Uh, I, yes, if you're wondering, like, um, excuse me, but that's jeans hanging in the closet. But, I mean, I hang that one up because it's, like, part of an outfit. I don't wear that pants with just any shirt. <laughs> but, anyways, let's, let's get started, I guess. So, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to set you down somewhere. Um, let's see where I could set you down. Alright, I set y'all guys down. 
So let's get into this and get back to the camera in Los Angeles. Can y'all see? Alright, y'all got it. Okay. So first I'm gonna basically take out all my long sleeves because they're gonna go to the back of the closet. These are my my pink shirts. My jean jacket, which I don't think I will wear. I don't know. I'll think about it. There's a sweater. It's not winter anymore. My Simply Southern little furry. My cardigan from Amber Coley. My cardigan? I don't know. Like, doesn't this just doesn't this just go with spring? Yeah, this is spring. So I'm just gonna leave this. One. This I'm gonna leave as old. Oh, while well, I'm at it, I might as well just get rid of it because I really don't want it. I really don't want it at all. Ugh, the butt stuck. Don't want that. I'll keep these pants. Probably get rid of the hanger. Or like put it to the side. So this cardigan sweater I had gotten it. I <sighs> gotten it like a while back ago. I think it was wet seals old old cardigan. I got this from Air Postal before it had like closed down but then rebought. I'm gonna put that to be honest, I don't want this cardigan. I don't know why. I'm girly, but it just, I've always tried to, like, work with it. It does not work for me. Along with this poncho, I'm not getting rid of that, but it's going to be for, like, the winter. Mm. There's, like, um, freak. I forgot what this was. Um, I know it's not a winter jacket, but it's, like, for fall. I forgot what it's called, but I'm pretty sure you know what it is. I don't know what it is. My other poncho. You're about to see them. I love ponchos. Especially during the winter. Oh, and I got this. This is so cute. So soft, so cuddly. I got this from Target um, this year. And look how cute and fluffy it is. I really wanted the pink one, but it got sold out. This is like an old cardigan that's super soft, super fluffy. I got it from Air Postal before it had closed and then reopened because someone bought it. Another poncho because I love poncho. As you can tell. I think I'm going to leave this hoodie. This is like my old high school senior hoodie. So I'm going to leave that. I'm gonna take out my old winter jacket. Um, I'm probably gonna put this in the back with the winter stuff for the night. I'm gonna be on with that. So is this. This is like that big warm jacket. <laughs> um, what about this one? Yeah. And then the rest are basically spring like. I mean, don't bother with this. I'm not ever gonna move that this is like old this is like from my homecoming from high school and then like my scene my graduation cap and gown from high school and then like other memorable outfits that I will probably never wear again oh this is like my graduation outfit isn't it cute I got the inspiration of this skirt and then this shirt from Pinterest <laughs> Oh, what am I doing with that? Alright. I'm this. I got both of these from Fashion Nova. It's like, like, that Sherpa hoodie thing. And, like, fur. I didn't even wear this one yet. I am so, like, wasteful. Like, <gasps> raise your hands if you like me and, like, spying calls and doesn't wear them. 
Eventually, I will probably next year, I guess. <laughs> oh, I love this. I got this from Target. I only wore it one time. I'm so sad that I didn't wear it multiple times. But look how cute. It has like um, cheetah or leopard print in here. And it's so cute and it's so fluffy. It's soft on the outside and soft on the inside. Okay. Here's all my longer sleeve things. That's winter. Also, like, I need to get out my winter and fall dresses out of here. Oh. See, most of my wardrobe is from Target. This 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 is a cute little jumpsuit I got from Target. <laughs> oh, I love this. I've worn it every like three times. Still good condition. I got it on clearance for like twelve dollars. Oh, always a good plus size deal. bumper I got from American Eagle. I thought it was super cute. I got it in the double XL. It's kind of big on me, not gonna lie. <laughs> kind of. Lord, I have a lot of clothes. Will I get rid of any of them? The world may never know. I'll probably speed up this because it's like getting really spilled and I don't know how many minutes this is gonna take. PJs. I have a whole bunch of PJs. Like, these are from Adorme. This PJ set is from like this PJ jump short romper thing. It's from American Eagle. Another thing. This is like a pajama jumpsuit from I think Anzacombi. And then this is from Route 21. Look how cute that is. Like, you can't tell me this is not a cute pajama romper. It's a little bit big on me on top, but on bottom it's like perfect. But I make it work because it has adjustable straps. So you make it work. Here's all the rest of the long things. I just gotta back up everything. This is like all my spring wardrobe here. Hold on.
is also a cute dress that I got from Target. It's super cute. And I love it. And it's super soft. <sighs> oh well. <sighs> Lord, I'm tired already. <laughs> and all I've done is move clothes right now. Let's do this. Let me just lay the shirt on the floor. Because I'm like, I'm not really up for this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Sweaters and jackets up first to go in the very back. If you were thinking I was gonna throw all of this out, you was wrong. <sighs> I am not about to give up on my closet. Eventually, I'll probably do a clean out my closet with me but not to do because I love all my clothes and half of these clothes I haven't even worn like um let's see let's give an example of what I haven't worn oh Lord. Okay. oh I have not worn this this is like brand new and I have not worn it and I bought it when the Wild Fable line at Target. <laughs> like I said, I'm an addicted to Target. I love Target. And I think both of them I got are in a 1X, yeah. And it's this cute little share outfit and it's super adorable, but I have not worn it. <sighs> I wish it was still available for y'all to purchase, but it's not. But that's just the sad part of it. It's not. Okay, Lord, give me strength, for I need it. It is hurting my legs. <laughs> Excited to wear this for the winter again. This was super warm, by the way. Super freaking warm. We're almost getting there. Almost. I'm already tired. Alright. Basically, basically, we're done with all the jackets and the sweaters and the cardigans. How many more of that turn hang up for?
Now it's time for the last one. Like this one doesn't want to go, but it's got to go. I think I just need another hanger, hanger, magicka. One of these days, I will probably give up all my clothes, but until then, that's not happening. Alright you guys, I did it, I mean, I tried to do it, I did, I think I did good, and let's not worry about that or that, that's just, that's just some other stuff that I would need to organize on its own, and like up here it's cluttered, I tried, I tried to clean this up many times, this is like my dolls from when I was like a little girl, and um yeah lord this video is gonna be long but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i mean it was kind of boring and basic come on now i could do it better but i didn't i'm sorry <laughs> and this is like all my hair products and like all my perfume products like i love amber blush i don't know about you but i do Focus. Why are you not focusing? Mm. Focus on something. Alright, you guys, but this is it. I, I organized it over there. These are like my, um, my scarves. 
and my purses and my snacks <laughs> oh but man this is this was tiring oh lord all right but you guys thanks for joining me today and um again subscribe my name is marissa spithia and if you haven't watched any of my videos go down and watch them right now like go <laughs> all right but you have a lovely day and i love y'all so bye